Hey, what is going on, internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So in this video, we're going to talk about 2D motion graphics in a form of presenting some information. So maybe you're creating something that shows off your social media. Maybe you need to put some text on screen that says, hey, this is some information for an event. So whatever it may be, I'm going to show you how to design a nice motion graphic screen that will display whatever information that you're looking to show off. And this video is sponsored by VideoHive.net. If you're looking for high quality After Effects templates, VideoHive is the place to go. Go ahead and check out the links in our video description to check out our top five motion graphics title templates. Here we are in a new composition and we already have our white background in here and first things first I want to talk about background design so a solid color might work but I want to show you how to use shape layers to create whatever you're looking to do. So you know figure out a shape that you really like. So I want to create something a little unique. I want to create some zigzag lines across our um, you know composition here. So what I'm going to do is grab the pen tool here at the top and I'm going to click on the word fill. And I want to set this to none. Click the word stroke. And I want to set this to solid color. Click OK. And I'm going to come over here, add a point, and bring a point down right to do like a little triangle, right? So you can do this with any shape. You can do whatever you want. But once you have your basic shape in there, then what I'm going to do is duplicate this. So we come here to add, and we can do a repeater. And we can open repeater one. We go into transform repeater one. And we go to the position and move this over to where this kind of connects perfectly. And that's beautiful. Now we can increase the number of copies. Let me zoom out here. Increase the number of copies all the way across like that. Look at that. Now we have a repeated design. Now we, show, we close shape one. Click on contents. Go to add and click on repeater again. Open repeater one. We can increase the number of copies. And go into the transform repeater one. Set the X position down to zero. And increase the Y position. So now... We're going to have this design duplicated. And then simply we just hit P on our keyboard for position and we can move this around and move it up so it's perfectly centered. And you know, that's pretty interesting. So you don't have to do this design. You can do like just circles. Of course, you can go ahead and look out some examples. So let's go ahead and type out our text. So the reason why I decided to type out my text here is because I want to show you how even with a dark text like we have now, on a busy background, the text does not look good. So what we have to do to make this stand out is we need to create a shape layer background for our titles. And what I'm going to do is just grab the rectangle tool. I'm going to make sure I click on the word fill. I'll set this to solid color. Click on the word stroke and set this to none. Click OK. And I'm just going to draw out a rectangle like this. And then I'm going to fill and I'm going to make this not a complete black, but maybe like a dark gray. Click OK. And of course, go to the line tab and center this up. If you don't see the line tab, go up to window align and we'll put this layer underneath our text. Boom. And now we have to set, go to our text layers and set this to a, obviously a color that will stand out like white. And that's fine. Now, our titles do stand out, but I still want to put more design in this because this is just going to be a very basic you know, design. I could put like a big quote in here. That's fine. But what I want to do is I want to grab the rectangle tool again. And I want to draw out a rectangle over our text, kind of like this. Set the or the fill to white and bring the shape layer underneath our title. And now we'll have, you know, a little bit more contrast in here, a little bit more detail. And we'll make it a little bit more interesting where you just focus on what's important, right? So we have our box in here. We can duplicate it by holding down Control D on a PC or Command D on a Mac. And boom, now we have two boxes in here. So I want to go ahead and animate everything on right now. And I want to start with the uh, shape layer here. So th the box here. So how I want to animate this on is I want to open this up. I want to go to the contents and I want to go to rectangle one, go to the path. And I want to break the link here and add a keyframe for size. Move the keyframe forward in time. And I want to bring the size Y down to zero. And this, bas this is basically what happens kind of just like that. And you know, it depends on how you want to animate this, but I'm going to keep this just like this. I'm okay with this. So now what I want to do is I want to come here, just maybe we'll call this one, uh, line box one. I want to duplicate this layer, come here to the bottom layer and just change the color to whatever color. Maybe we have a logo color, a brand color, right? And I want to just select that color. Then I want to offset the top layer here. So now we get this, you know, outlined, you know, border around here. That looks cool. And we can even duplicate this one more time, offset it, go to the middle layer 
and we can grab say another color so maybe we do blue it doesn't matter and now you get that so that's pretty cool right and obviously we want to animate our text on as this opens up so what we can do to make this happen is first things first always pre-compose your text if you're going to do some effects to it so pre-compose it go by going up to layer pre-compose and we call this one title one boom and now what we'll do is we'll grab the top layer here which is line box three we'll duplicate that and we'll set the line box on top of the title one we'll go to title one toggle switch the modes until you see the track map and we'll set this to alpha map for the title so now boom you get that so it's a nice transition okay so i'm gonna come here and just pre-compose this all so we keep this all organized so i went ahead and did this effect with the other title here and i'm just going to offset the second title a little bit so it comes on a little bit later so we'll take a quick break in the action to pay some of the bills this video is sponsored by videohive.net which is the leading after effects template marketplace on the internet you're able to find exactly what you're looking for so if you're looking for uh, title graphics cards or social media animations to promote your business go ahead and check out my top five favorite templates those links are in the description the thing about templates is that they are pre-made and ready to go so instead of spending eight hours to do your own motion graphics you can spend 30 minutes just by swapping out the preset text or logos with your own information and you'll be able to render it out and be able to have your own video done in about 30 minutes so always keep in mind after effects templates go ahead and check out our links in the description your support does help our channel and allows us to continue to make these awesome videos and speaking of videos let's get back into this video so now obviously we want to do our social media icons or whatever title you want to do next now with social media icons it's always a little bit more challenging to choose what you want to do so here i have like a pinterest logo and obviously you want to make this nice and small but the color palette is always something you want to consider do you want to keep the regular the original colors of the social media site or do you want to change it up to fit your current color palette so for example we can come here and turn on say a box shape layer here uh, which you can just go ahead and grab the rectangle tool and create a box. I'm pretty sure. Okay. And obviously that looks fine. We have a little bit of red here that fits the logo. Let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit. Obviously, you know, that looks fine for one logo there. But of course, you want to keep the color palette the same. You go to generate fill and you can select, say, your text color. And now it follows the same exact palette as your titles. And that's pretty cool, right? So that's always something you got to consider when you're doing social media icons. So like before, we want to do a very similar animation along these lines, but I don't want to just copy the same thing here. So what we'll do here is we'll grab both our layers here and we'll pre-compose it and call it social media one. And what we'll do is we'll hit S and R on our keyboard for scale and rotation, add a keyframe for both parameters, move forward or backwards in time actually in my case. And we'll set it down to 0% and we'll rotate it by a touch. Then grab the pan behind tool here at the top and grab the anchor point and put it right in the center of the box here. So it'll animate for just like that. All right, so that looks cool, but we want to keep that color palette that we've had originally, right? So what we'll do is we'll duplicate the social media box. We'll go up to effect generate fill and we'll want to grab our primary color. So this is this magenta color boom and then we'll duplicate it one more time and we'll grab the blue color all right so it's all about color palette and we'll make sure to put our original social media layer on top we'll offset it in time and we'll offset these a little bit so now you get something like that so that's pretty interesting and of course we can offset these in time as well so so we'll go ahead and pre-compose the first one here and call it social media now we'll want to duplicate this and put more social media icons in here so what we can do is duplicate our social media one final comp up here in the project window duplicate that open it up and you want to duplicate social media one select all these layers here hold down altering keyboard drag in social media two on top of social media one here in the timeline and it'll be automatically replaced so you can come in here you can grab your next logo bring in our instagram logo by holding down alt and we'll just scale this down as we see fit oh that's a good point and we'll just continue to scale this down to right there. Go back into our tut. Grab social media to final. Move it over. We will offset it in time. So now you'll have the other social media icon in there as well. Now we have the ability to animate this stuff any way that you want. 
And I'll show you one more technique to animate, say, the lines over here so we got some more movement. What we can do to, say, have these going upward, just hit P on your keyboard for position, add a keyframe for position, move forward to the end of your animation. Let's say that this animation is going to end at 7 seconds. We'll go ahead and animate this upwards. And you might have to increase the number of copies in your repeater, but now we have this consistent animation going on here. And that looks cool. And, of course, you might want to animate on your big box here. I would suggest that. But I'm not going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that just because this is very simple and you have the ability to do whatever you want at this point. The main principles of the tutorial was to show you some basic concepts with some shape layer animation, how to present text in a clean fashion, and how to put together a nice background. So I hope you guys were able to take away several techniques from this tutorial. So if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to drop a like because it lets me know that this video was good. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this. Hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video and always be creative.